I am Prince Bull Luseni, the Executive Director for West Africa Drug Policy Network. Today is June 26, a day observed as United Nations International Day against drug abuse and illicit drug trade, otherwise known as World Drug Day. The goal of this annual event is to strengthen action and collaboration to achieve a world that is free from drug abuse. Each year, a theme is selected by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime to guide the commemoration of this day. Most times, this theme reflects the official position of the agency at the time in the best ways of addressing the world's drug problem. This year, the theme focuses on putting people first, ending stigma and discrimination, and strengthening prevention. As I understand it, the theme calls for a drastic shift from excessive punishment and condemnation of people who use drugs to a more humane and compassionate approach. This year's theme gives hope to people who use drugs as well as advocate for evidence-based drug policy reform, especially the West Africa Drug Policy Network, which has consistently called on authorities in the sub-region to review their drug laws in line with human rights and public health. We proudly join the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime and everyone across the world to amplify the call to end stigma and discrimination against people who use drugs. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that people who use drugs were once and can always be productive members of our society and families if given the opportunity to do so. Therefore, we cannot afford to ostracize them. Unfortunately, we recognize that existing drug laws which criminalize and punish people for drug use are major drivers of stigma and discrimination associated with drug use and not necessarily the act itself. That is why the West Africa Drug Policy Network prioritizes legislative reform. This is due to the overwhelming evidence that in order to have a world that is free from drug abuse, we must have the right laws in place. From our perspective, the right laws are drug laws which do not seek to punish people who use drugs but rather protect their human rights and improve their quality of life. It also considers alternatives to incarceration and the removal of all criminal penalties for minor non-violent drug offenses, such as the use and possession of drugs for personal purposes. I therefore use this day as an opportunity to encourage you to call on your government to decriminalize the use and possession of drugs for personal purposes as the first step to ending stigma and discrimination against people who use drugs, especially poor, vulnerable, and non-violent young boys and girls who are mere victims of this lucrative and illicit syndicate. On this note, I wish you a productive International Drug Day. Thank you.